The late evangelist Dr. Miles Monroe once said, success without a successor is failure. So your legacy should not be in buildings, programs, and projects. Your legacy must be in people. The greatest act of a leader is mentoring. Today, we honor Joan Thomas, wife, mother, sister, friend, and a co-founder of the Albert C. Pierre Community Services Center, established in 1998. Ms. Thomas has dedicated her life to service while mentoring an army of volunteers who continue the important work of helping others in need. Upon moving to South Florida, Ms. Thomas became involved in Adventist Community Services at the Mount Pisgah SDA Church in Miami Gardens. There, she met Cherry Sally. The two formed a long-lasting friendship and worked together for close to four decades, developing South Florida's Adventist Community Services and Disaster Response into a well-respected operation. Ms. Thomas would subsequently lead the community services at Tabernacle SDA. Over her many years of service, she planned neighborhood holiday dinners, held countless food drives, and distributed clothes donated by local dry cleaners. During the early years of the AIDS crisis, when the disease was highly misunderstood, she assembled a group of volunteers to receive training and visit the HIV AIDS Medical Clinic on Northwest 54th Street. After the devastation of Hurricane Andrew in 1992, again, her team got to work. With the contributions and resources of many dedicated Tabernacle members and volunteers, the church building became recognized as a major donation site and remained open 24 seven from August to January. The management of the hurricane supplies was so organized, it caught the attention of the American Red Cross. Joan was subsequently tapped to work as a head liaison officer for their outreach and disaster relief services. Over the years, Joan and the community services team led disaster relief efforts to aid hard-hit areas in Florida, the Bahamas, Grenada, Jamaica, Haiti, Antigua, and Montserrat, among others. Her radio and television interviews regarding relief for natural disasters caused donations to pour in from near and far including significant donations from corporations and major retail stores. Asked about her inspiration, Ms. Thomas credits many committed church members who sacrificed time and money. Among those are her late husband, Elder Ronald Thomas Sr. and Elder Pierre. She recalls her husband's deep love and affection for her his sense of humor, and his unwavering faith and love for God. As for Elder Pierre, she recounts a man who was passionate about developing relationships with people and businesses in the Little River and Little Haiti surrounding areas. After Elder Pierre's death in 1998, several church members expanded on his vision and named a center in his honor. Upon the center receiving a grant from the Robert Wood Johnson Foundation, Joan and its members were instrumental in opening an adult daycare center for Alzheimer's patients, which provided many years of service. In later years, Joan and Ronald Sr. worked behind the scenes, offering support and resources to several causes, including a mission trip to Ronald's hometown church in Trenchtown, Jamaica. Additionally, they both served as mentors to the young adult group with the Pure Reality Youth Ministry 
and Joan taught etiquette to girls ages 11 through 13. Today, ACP proudly embodies Joan's passion for pouring into people through its Pure Reality Youth Initiative, Hope Summer Camp, Pierre's Pantry, and the newly opened Vision Care Center formed with Rhonda Eyes Alliance. <laughs>